All right, so yeah, we've got a little bit of a take two here because I, you, I'm, you can see I'm standing here, which you may think if you know anything about getting out of bounds in Nexus Town, and I've probably put out of bounds in Nexus Town in the video title, that this isn't where you'd start to get out of bounds. Yeah, uh, that's because I've already gotten out of bounds once and thought I was recording, but wasn't. So basically, this out of bounds is a consistency challenge. I realistically didn't think anyone was that likely to get it. And then I did and was quite surprised. Um, there are two different out of bounds I can go for. I managed to actually go from one into the other on my last attempt. So I did something like, uh, let's get a reasonable fly speed. Um, so I went all the way up onto there, which I honestly landed on by pure chance, like I wasn't aiming, I don't recall exactly what happened, I think I may have actually just messed up and landed, and like not cancelled a spring jump properly and landed there, landed there, ran up along here, and then made a series of jumps to get onto here, and then you can just go through here. Um, yeah, that was what happened, now I'm going to try and repeat that. And I'm going to try and repeat this in one take, because the reason I was able to do this in that last run was because I realised something that I realise fairly regularly, but have to relearn each time, which is that spring jumps are actually incredibly easy. Um, what's that? I can do mental maths. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm actually, I'm going to aim for the harder one, because I think I can do it. I think I should be able to do this relatively easily. Okay, that's a bug that keeps, that I've recorded a few times, so there's probably going to be a compilation of those that I put out at some point. But basically, the trick that makes spring jumps easy is just waiting a little bit longer. Because there, yeah, I'm going too early. So, okay. Well, it's not first try. I was really hoping we might get something that looked at least a little bit like first try. We're not going to. Um, but I'm still going to try and record this in one take. Because I think... I do think this is doable. So we're at the correct height. Oh uh, no, we're at the correct like distance. I don't know if we're high enough yet. Ugh, I was very close. There. So sorry, when I said we're at the correct height, we're at the correct height. Had I gone uh had I gone for the jump onto here, but I went for there to try and cut out the risk associated with me overshooting, which is quite a big risk. However, I guess I can narrow that down if I just aim correctly. So actually this should be aimed pretty much correctly. So if I just go for it like this, I should be good. Because that last run, I would have had it. for this. There we are. Okay. It's the first bit. Then I just run up a little ways along here. This second step I did quite easily the first time because this you basically don't have to height gain because uh, you've already got all your height gain and you then just need to make the distance which is pretty darn easy. Assuming I don't muck it up, which I probably will now I said that. No, I actually am. Woo! <laughs> what just ha Okay, okay, so I, I kind of know what just happened. I'm not certain where the physics was that made that happen. Um, so basically, that is a... 
I can't believe that I got that whilst recording as well. That's hilarious. Um, so basically, there's a glitch which can happen. Well, it's basically if you are nearby some. Oh, I bet I know what happened. Okay, if you're nearby some certain terrain, we use the spring shoes. Um, basically, the spring shoes will they try and move you up and then forwards. If for whatever reason they can't move you up, um. Various things happen, um, but the notion is that at least at the second they start trying to move you forwards, if there is something in your way, the game doesn't like apply a velocity and keep applying it. It's not like if I run into a wall, where I say I don't have a wall nearby, so but if you imagine I'm running into this wall and then suddenly the wall disappears, I'll do that and run through it. Um, what instead happens is even if the wall is now no longer solid, I will continue to run along, uh, basically, in the case of the spring jump. So, in other words, it just knocks me off course, and I remain off course, is, I think, the best way of explaining it. That's what happened there, and I got incredibly lucky that the physics didn't exist in the right, like, randomly off to the side there. It could well have done, and that could well not have worked. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I'm genuinely, genuinely amazed that that is doable. I think I, I think I should have started further back because I wanted to get that skip properly. But um, yeah, I'm <laughs> genuinely amazed that happened. I've had a couple of those. I've never had one of those when I'm doing a recording and actually speaking at the same time, or like actually recording a demonstration. That's not happened yet. Uh, so yeah, we can run around here. I honestly don't know how far you can get. Um, like. This is not something I've ever really explored. Pretty cool that I can get up here. Um, I know I can't keep walking that direction, which is quite sad. Because that means I can't get on top of the Imagination of Nexus. Well, actually, you can't get on top of the Imagination Nexus anyway. Imagination Nexus extends up way too far. I can get on top of all of this. Which is pretty cool. Can I... So there's always the chance that some physics might extend through here. I've never been out of bounds here. This is kind of, at this stage, just an out of bounds exploration thing. Uh, okay, so I bet I, if I jump... Okay, I'm not going to risk trying to make any jumps there, because if I do, I fall out of bounds. I could... If I had the correct mission right now, I could... Oh, can I? Okay, yeah, if I had the correct mission to build that, I could build that now, and I'd probably clip back out the top. Not that there would be any use to that ever practically, but it's something that could be done. Um, so now I've got to, got to not lose this. I've got to keep going. Um, I cannot believe that that happened. I genuinely... That... Oh, okay. Um, that was incredibly, incredibly unlikely. Um, okay, and I've got to be a little bit careful here that I don't fall back in bounds. And I've got to work out where exactly I'm planning on going. Because, well, let's actually, let's test this a little bit. Oh, okay. There's stuff there. Because some of these areas you are intended to be able to go along. And so, like, you're not intended to be up here, but like... This area down below is intended to be reachable. So I wonder, can I get in from the top of that? That would be pretty funny. Again, I can't really think of a use for this. I basically just spent a ton of money getting somewhere completely useless, or I would have done in an actual game. Um, an actual run. Uh, again, I will test out if I can get through those, if I can't find anything better. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if there's the possibility of getting anywhere interesting whatsoever. Um, okay, I'm not going to attempt to parkour across there, because... I Yeah, I seem to recall that's somewhat... Somewhat painful to try and attempt. So, um, I, I can't think of anywhere else obvious to try and... Go with this. There's nothing really in Nimbus uh, Nexus Tower rather that would be actually useful for a speed run, um, because let's face it, nothing here actually really matters gameplay-wise. Um, so there's no real reason to try and go incredibly quick here to begin with. 
Um, well, okay, there are reasons to try and go quick here, but there's no way useful going quick would get you. So I know at least one way of getting... Okay, that doesn't work. I know one way of getting back in bounds will be to jump down through those. Uh, that will definitely get me back in bounds. But also, let's just see... And, like, I know that will get me back in bounds, so it's honestly not that fun to try. Again, I could jump down there. And if you're wondering how I know this, I've tested so many potential out-of-bounds skips. Those were all uh, ways. I know that there's... I know you can jump upwards out of there, basically, uh, if they are turned off. And I was attempting... I've attempted to find glitches which get me there. None of them works. That's the case with so many things in LU. I have tried to find glitches with them and have not succeeded. Um, again, whilst we're here, I may as well just... This is, so I know I could get through here. I managed this last time. And... How far and where can I go? Okay, so the ceiling has collision. Oh! Okay, looks like that's out. Anyway, um, this kind of just turned into me running around trying to see if there's anything interesting I could do with this outbound. I realistically, don't think there is. But I. But also, far more importantly, this is a... Oh, I see. You can't get on top of that, right? Well, okay, there probably is some out, but I probably could climb up on top of here. And I just don't know how high up it goes. It goes up to there. I mean, yet yeah, that's the thing. Technically, that's doable. Um, does this physics go... Does it go around? Oh, no. Okay, so I could just get in from... By going around the side. And that'd be doable. Okay, let's give that a go. Um, yeah, that's the the main reason I did this was as a demonstration. Wow, nice. Well, I guess we also get to. Oh, this isn't. I'm not doing this on Dale. You, uh, so I won't. Well, I might might get smashed. I don't know. Don't know what'll happen. Um. The screen shaking is just due to moving at high velocity. It's not due to any clip because uh, I shouldn't be clipped into anything and there will be ground beneath me. It's just a long way beneath in the case of Nexus Tower, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah, that's... You can actually see my... Oh, no, no that's glitchy and flashy normally. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> this was a... Demo, which demoed actually a far more cool glitch than I was intending to do. And, yeah, more importantly, this demonstrates that it is basically possible to use spring shoes to out of bounds, more or less, anywhere. I'm also going to give a bit of a shout for one of the other things I noticed with spring shoes whilst doing this, which is the... Fo uh, do I have any way of demonstrating this? Yes, I have this. I guess I also had buff me. Um... Which is that it's far, far harder to achieve any of this if you've got imagination uh, on your... If you've got imagination whilst you're using this stuff. The reason for this is that the game waits a second. Waits like, I think it's it's not half a second, it's like 0.2 seconds or something. But a noticeable amount of time, it waits to decide whether you're going to... Whether you're going to charge up or whether you're going to attack. Um, and in that time waiting you will fall far enough. This won't help. I now actually won't be able to pull it off because I don't have anything right. I think this, yeah, that takes. I don't have anything to actually get rid of through imagination and doing this doesn't work in each at the moment. Um, I guess, oh wait, can I? I'm fairly certain I. Oh, okay, uh, getting down to one counts. Okay, so I could try and, so okay, let's try and demonstrate this. So this is a spring jump with imagination. Um, okay, I, I will wait a little bit, just so you can see, and you can see I'm, I'm using pretty decent timing, and I'm falling quite a ways down. I'm basically at the ground by the time, so this, this can work for stalling whilst you're in the air, it doesn't work for anything else. However, let's now use up enough of my imagination that the game no longer checks... So I can now press and hold, and as you see, it the game isn't checking uh, whether or not I'm in a charging state. Because of that, I should be able to do some nice spring jumps. And because of that, I should be able to do some nice spring jumps. As you... Okay, that's... Right, that's... 
as you can see, I am managing to gain height. It's a slow process and an expensive process, but it's one that works. You could make this more efficient if you changed out how quickly you attacked. Like, spring jumping is not a fully optimized process, but as you can see, there was a huge difference there. And yeah, I hope, uh, I, yeah, I hope that was an interesting tech demo. Yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.